Have you ever wondered why the United States, one of the largest oil producers in the world, still imports oil? It seems puzzling at first glance. After all, the U.S. has vast oil fields and advanced extraction technology, so why bring in oil from other countries? Let's dive into the intricacies of this situation and unravel the mystery. Please subscribe to our channel before we start, so you never miss any update. The U.S. is an oil powerhouse, but the United States is indeed a major player in the global oil market. It's frequently among the top three oil producers, alongside Saudi Arabia and Russia. Thanks to the shale revolution, U.S. oil production has skyrocketed in the last couple of decades. However, being a leading producer doesn't mean the country is entirely self-sufficient in meeting its oil needs. The U.S. consumes a staggering amount of oil, around 20 million barrels per day. Even though domestic production has surged, it's not always enough to keep up with demand. But that's not the whole story. The complex dance of oil grades. Here's where things get interesting. Not all oil is the same. Crude oil comes in different grades, which vary in density, light versus heavy, and sulfur content, sweet versus sour. U.S. refineries, many of which were built decades ago, are optimized for processing heavier, sour crudes. The oil extracted from U.S. shale fields, like those in Texas and North Dakota, is predominantly light and sweet. While this type of oil is high quality, it doesn't match the configuration of many U.S. refineries, which can more efficiently process heavier crude. As a result, the U.S. imports heavy crude from countries like Canada, Mexico, and Venezuela to balance the mix and maximize refinery efficiency. This mismatch highlights a fascinating interplay between geology and technology. While light, sweet crude is easier to refine into gasoline and diesel, it's not always the best fit for existing infrastructure. Retrofitting refineries to handle different grades of oil is an expensive and time-consuming process, making imports a practical solution in the short and medium term. Global Markets and Economic Strategy Oil isn't just a domestic commodity, it's traded on a global market. U.S. oil companies often find it more profitable to export light crude to countries with refineries designed for it, such as in Europe and Asia, while importing heavier grades. This strategy allows companies to capitalize on price differentials and maintain a steady supply chain. Moreover, the global oil market operates on a principle of interdependence. By engaging in both imports and exports, the U.S. ensures its participation in this complex network, stabilizing relationships with key trading partners and mitigating risks associated with market volatility. For instance, exporting surplus light crude can help offset the cost of importing heavy crude, creating a more balanced economic equation. Additionally, having diverse sources of imported oil enhances energy security. By not relying solely on domestic production, the U.S. can better withstand disruptions, like hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico that temporarily halt drilling operations or geopolitical tensions that affect international supplies. Geopolitical and Economic Partnerships Imports also reflect the intricate web of geopolitical relationships. For instance, Canada is the largest supplier of imported oil to the U.S., accounting for over half of all imports. This close trade relationship strengthens economic ties between the two countries. Similarly, importing oil from friendly nations fosters diplomatic goodwill and economic interdependence. The importance of these partnerships extends beyond economics. Canada's oil sands, for example, are a stable and reliable source of heavy crude for U.S. refineries. This stability contrasts with the volatile oil supplies from regions prone to political unrest. By prioritizing imports from friendly nations, the U.S. reduces its exposure to potential disruptions while reinforcing alliances. Moreover, oil imports allow the U.S. to exert influence on the global stage. By participating in international oil trade, the U.S. maintains leverage over markets and partners. It also ensures that alliances are economically beneficial, reinforcing diplomatic ties. Strategic Reserves, a backup plan. The U.S. maintains the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, SPR, the world's largest emergency stockpile of crude oil to guard against supply disruptions. However, the SPR isn't designed for everyday use. It's a safety net. To meet daily needs, a balance of domestic production, imports, and exports is essential. The SPR's importance becomes evident during crises. For instance, 
During geopolitical conflicts or natural disasters, tapping into this reserve can stabilize domestic markets and prevent price spikes. It's a tool of both economic and national security. Interestingly, the SPR also plays a psychological role. Knowing that the reserve exists provides reassurance to markets, investors, and consumers alike. This stabilizing effect can prevent panic during uncertain times, showcasing the strategic foresight behind its creation. The transition to renewable energy. As the world gradually shifts towards renewable energy sources, you might wonder if oil imports will become a thing of the past. While renewable energy is growing rapidly, oil remains a cornerstone of transportation, industry, and manufacturing. The transition is underway, but it's a long process, and oil, both domestic and imported, will continue to play a critical role for years to come. Consider the rise of electric vehicles, EVs. While EVs are gaining popularity, the global fleet of internal combustion engine vehicles is still massive. Similarly, industries like aviation, shipping, and heavy manufacturing rely heavily on oil and are challenging to decarbonize. Until renewable solutions scale up and infrastructure adapts, oil will remain indispensable. Environmental considerations. Oil imports also raise questions about environmental impact. Transporting oil across borders, especially via tankers, contributes to carbon emissions. However, refining the appropriate grade of oil can be more energy efficient overall, offsetting some of these emissions. Moreover, importing oil can reduce the strain on domestic ecosystems by spreading the environmental footprint globally. Policymakers and industry leaders are increasingly aware of these environmental challenges. Investments in cleaner technologies, carbon capture, and stricter regulations are part of the effort to balance economic needs with environmental responsibility. Furthermore, the U.S. is exploring ways to reduce its carbon footprint without compromising energy security. Initiatives such as methane captured during extraction, stricter emission standards for tankers, and incentives for renewable energy development aim to create a more sustainable energy future. So why does the U.S. import oil despite producing so much? It's a matter of balance, economics, and strategy. Different grades of oil, global market dynamics, refinery configurations, and energy security considerations all contribute to this complex equation. In the end, it's not just about how much oil the U.S. produces, but about ensuring the right types of oil are available where and when they're needed. Next time you fill up your gas tank, you'll know there's a fascinating global story behind every drop of fuel. The U.S. oil import system is a testament to the complexity of modern economies, where practicality, strategy, and geopolitics intersect in every barrel of crude. From the oil fields of Texas to the refineries of Louisiana, and from Canadian pipelines to global shipping lanes, each step in the journey reflects the interconnected nature of our world.